So you want to travel. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic week. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I save money to travel specifically. Uh, for those who don't know, I spent several years traveling on board cruise ships as a singer. So I got to travel all over the world and I have to say that experience kind of had the travel bug bite me, so to speak. So I am always saving money to travel uh, and see more parts of the world that I didn't get to see. These are my top tips for saving money to get out and travel. Tip number one is to create a savings plan. Figure out how much you guys can set aside each week for your travels. I recommend also getting a separate checking account so that you can, you know, set that extra cash aside in a separate account away from your normal transactions, your normal um, checking and savings account. You have it all right there. Tip number two should come as no surprise to anybody and it is to save as much money as possible. Do whatever you can to like cut corners or trim the fat, whatever they say. Um, the most popular ways I've seen this done and have done myself have been to pack lunches, you know, have dinners at home, nights in instead of going out, making my own coffee, doing things my, you know, myself, like DIYing certain things. If you want to real quick, check my how I saved $20,000 in a year video. It talks all about the things that I did to save as much money as possible. It gets into more detail, but figure out what you can do, what habits you have that you can give up just for a little while to put that money away. Tip number three is where a little bit more work comes in and it is to stay inspired. Get out a notebook, put out pictures of where you're going, make a Pinterest board. Uh, for me personally, I set my, uh, my iPhone background where I'm traveling. Just create constant reminders why you are sacrificing that lunch out or that gourmet coffee that you wanted on Fridays. Remind yourself why and think of the big picture. Sometimes I'll remind myself, oh, I'm not gonna get this, you know, macchiato here at this coffee shop, but when I go to Vienna, I will get it, you know, at this coffee shop. So it kind of reminds me, okay, I won't get it here in Ohio, I'm gonna get it somewhere else. And it just helps me stay inspired. If you remember why you're doing it, you are more likely to stay on track. Tip number four is to book early. This is for your traveling accommodations or needs. Obviously, if you're staying with friends, you don't need a hotel, but if you are flying, busing, need hotels, trains, transportation, it is said, and I wrote this down because I searched it, it is said that Tuesdays at 3 p.m., six weeks prior to the travel, are when things like flights, trains, bus transportations are the cheapest. I don't know if this is actually true, I have read it, I think I found it on like eight different sources. It was all over the internet. So if you've done this before, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if that is actually true. But what I use, if I'm flying, and again, not sponsored, I like to use the website called Skyscanner. What Skyscanner does is it lets you put in where you are, where you're traveling, how many people are going with you, and the dates, if you want round trip, or you just don't care if you have stops, and it will go through every major airline, and it will compare the prices. And sometimes it saved me as much as like $200. For example, I'm gonna go into St. Louis this spring, and it was like $400 on this one site, and it was the cheapest flight I can find. Then I typed it into Skyscanner, and while Skyscanner couldn't give me a cheaper price, it did have a little asterisk that said, hey, go to southwest.com. They sometimes have like cheap deals if you book even earlier in advance, like wanna get away type of deals. And I got it down to $200 round trip to St. Louis. So. Tuesdays, 3 p.m., six weeks before, and if you are flying, I recommend Skyscanner. And my last tip is to make sure you have money set aside to spend when you arrive on that vacation. Sometimes we focus so much on how much money it's gonna take us to get there, we forget to set aside money to do things while we're there. And there's nothing worse than getting to like your dream destination than realizing you didn't bring the extra funds or money to have that dinner, see that show, see that attraction, go on that excursion and do any of the types of things you wanted to do 
while you were traveling. So my last tip is to make sure you set aside a little bit of money. You might not know exactly what you want to do when you get there, but set aside a spending budget or allowance while you are there. Anyway, those are my tips for how I save money to travel. If I missed anything or you think there's anything good that I should know, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will be doing a video in the future on my experience of working on board a cruise ship and traveling. I think I did seven ships with the line that I work for and I was a singer on all seven. I got to travel all around the world. It was a phenomenal experience and it really does make you catch the travel bug, so to speak. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, click the red subscription button down below. It will keep you updated for each and every future video. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.